Immediately after we got off the bus, we were sent to the boats to reach our next destination. Fifteen minutes and we realized that we were in the midst of nature's wonders. We tend to take for granted the lives that we have been living, being in this tranquil scenery. And so, when we were set to go, we had to find the rest of the pack before we could reach our next pit stop. Being city folk, most of us had trouble walking through the rocks. They were slippery, also jagged. This would serve as a refuge for us, a time for us to hydrate, to get to know more about the locals who have been living here. In this area also, we were taught the ways of planting seedlings. Students gathered around him like celebrities. He demonstrated the squeezing of the soil, the proper techniques in order for the plant to survive and flourish here in the forest. We were each handed our complementary seedlings. Due to the sheer number of trees we had to plant, we carried three seedlings each. The seedlings were surprisingly heavy. We were told of possible areas to plant our seedlings, but most of them had already been taken. So we walked. We followed our guide. At this point, the seedlings seemed to have gained so much weight. Shortly after the trip, I noticed some unexpected muscle growth, but only on my left bicep, and we kept turning back each time, almost as if at every corner we were rejected. Still we pressed on. We believed in our guide. We knew that she was leading us to Nirvana. We weren't properly taught how to hold our seedlings, so some of us kept dropping them. Then we found other members of our group. They had already finished their tasks. Still, we were finding our holes. Finally, we found our first planting hole. We decided to mark our territory. To our surprise, there were goats. There was a giant goat. Uh, there was a daddy goat. A mommy goat and a baby goat. The baby goat had the most adorable scream. It, it was sort of like meh. And so we found the proper holes for our seedlings and we each planted them. According to the ways that we were taught, it felt like a relief to finally remove them from our hands. But now came the most difficult part. It was to actually plant them where they would flourish in the forest environment. Just as we were taught, we squeezed the soil so vigorously, repeatedly patting them together to solidify them, so that once we removed these plastic bags, they wouldn't just collapse. The soil was moist, so it was very difficult to grab hold of it. But once we were halfway through, everything went a lot smoother. All we had to do, as the instructor said, was to keep squeezing the soil. Despite the cold air, the forest was damp and warm and unexpectedly full of mosquitoes we were able to properly remove it from the plastic bag. Soil still collapsed, but we thought fast. 
all we had to do now was pat it down to the ground. Bury it with our bare hands. But I seem to be using a stick. I shouldn't have used a stick. There, I finally used my bare hands. Oh, no, no. Back to the stick. But as I carved it, I was thinking about this plant's future. Concerned about the many dangers that could threaten the life of this innocent little seedling. Of all the goats roaming in the forests. Of all the dangerous plant-eating goats. Once we finished, it was time for us to go back. It was a difficult task to clean our slippers. I'm drowning, I'm drowning. It seems like... And then after a long day of trekking through woods, of planting seedlings, of washing through streams, we were finally on our way back home. We went through the same exact path that we had gone through. This time with more experience, with more hope. Once again, we had to ride the boats. Using the same groupings that we did last time, we strapped on our life vests and carefully got inside the boats, guiding ourselves and each other so as not to topple over. I was very tempted to push my brother, but I did my best to resist my urges. When we were set, we settled ourselves and prepared ourselves once again for a long journey through the river. I'm enjoying every second of this. All my companions seem to be bored. We are tired, but very much inspired by all that has happened. 